Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's another episode of NXT. You're in the presence of the one half of the World Tag Team Champions, the Mundo, along with me, Jess Oakland. Jess, good evening. Good evening, Mundo. What a great night we're going to have here in non-stop wrestling. Indeed, and it well, Jess, what can we say about our main event tonight? Tag team action. It's and huge. It, 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 it's probably going to be one of the strangest main events I can probably say from NXT when the Raw co-commentator Matt Rhodes, <laughs> who is our NXT champion, there you have it, teams up with Paul Heyman of all people. Not, to not take, even a wrestler. Not even a, to take on He's... Joe Disney, who's not even a wrestler. <laughs> yeah. And uh. AJZ, who is the new number one contender for Matt Rhodes' NXT title, and they're going to go one on one next week. I so what do you what are your things about this? I don't know. It's a, uh, it's quite a weird situation. You have a manager and a uh, commentator slash wrestler taking on a commentator and a wrestler. It's it's something that's never been done before. And, the, and well, to start us off, we're going to have Adrian Neville of the British Ambition taking on JC Pullins and a new form of tag team this week, Jess. JC Pullins and Goldust. That's interesting. Apparently, they're both weird, but it's interesting. Yeah, and apparently, the, um, Goldust is going to be in the corner of JC Pullins. And, Jess, to hear this, next week, um, Goldust is going to take on Oliver Gray in a sort of a, a reverse singles yeah. match. That makes sense. That would be a good match, too. It is. So, a little bit of a rivalry going on here. And so, and really, you have to say, Jess, JC Pullins and Goldust, two of the weirdest people we've got here on NXT. Oh yeah, they're they're definitely up there. Just not at the top. Well, let's see how we get on here. This should be a, a really good opening match. Um, Goldust in the corner of JC Pullins and Oliver, Oliver Green in the corner of Adrian Neville. So, uh, yeah. wow. I don't even know what to say. Yeah, Goldust it's just weird. applauding. Yeah, sort of. I wonder, sort of. Goldust taking JC Pullins under his wing, kind of thing. Um, yeah, we know Goldust is a long-time veteran. Indeed. So here we go. And look at that, JC Pullins straight off catching Adrian Neville. But Neville coming back with kicks right of his own. Up. And I th you've got to say, Jess, both of these men use their feet very wisely. Oh, yeah, they're both they're both the great athletes. Uh, they both have some high flying in them. It should be a great match. Indeed. And look at this. Oh, my goodness. Early on, big neck oh. breaker. Wow, off the top. As Oliver Gray looks on on the outside, as another kick to the head, it looks like JC Pullins is. Oh, I'll just say oh. that it's reverse time. You kick me in the head once, I'll try and kick. Then you can kick me in the head. This sort of way these two are going on. Just yeah, exact. That's um. I'd say they're just going at it. They're not. Oh man, not it's e great match. Yeah, not even sort of giving each other time to breathe. It's sort of. One yeah, move, fast one way. Pace. yeah, fast pace. One you go one way, then I'll take a move off you, kind of thing. As, as Goldust, sort of just shouting instructions on the outside, and, and being a good mentor or teacher or whatever he is to. Uh, I still don't understand this sort of partnership. Yeah, I understand they're both a little bit on the the weird side, but yeah, it'll be interesting That's to see. How it go yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it goes on in the next few weeks between these two. Uh, as Neville continues on, look at that nice okay. throw over the shoulder, and then again to the back of the head. It's this sort of that the, both of these uh, competitors aiming for each other's heads, kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, they're going straight for the brain. Nice. I'm just trying to knock him out. Indeed. Look at this again, Neville from the, the go behind. And it, and, uh, an Irish whip to the outs. Oh, no, no, no never mind. good reversal. That's nice that. Hurricane Rana to sort of take over. Neville continues. Yeah. Oh, but then a nice eye oh. break. That, that's going to stop anyone. That just, that ruined, that, we had a great match going on, and that's just, man. Well, it's, it's 30 win, moves like that. It's win at all costs, though. You've got to think about that, Jess. I know, but still, as, as a fan, you, you, you're going to, that was great going on. That was a great exchange, but uh, now it's, it's looking a little more one sided. As NXT continues to stay with us, we'll be right back after this. This is the Mundo here with a very important message. All the wrestlers here in non-stop wrestling are professionally trained athletes. 
We urge our fans not to try this at home, school or anywhere. Stay safe. Don't try this. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, NXT. It is, well, one half of your World Tag Team Champions of the Mundo, along with me, Jess Oakland. And Jess, through the break, JC Pullen's in control. Yeah, he's still in control after that eye rake from, uh, from before we uh, left the break. Indeed, look at this. Oh, Jesse Pullen's trying to pull oh. him away there. Nice. We're again, dropping the head into the canvas. Can that be enough? Into the cover, hooks the leg. There's one. There's two. Oh, two and a half. Oh. Even Oliver Gray, there. Oliver Gray distracting the ref, not really helping Adrian at all. Jesse Pullen's looking to get pull him over, so kind of oh. just say, move here, it's submission hard, move. Yeah, just sort of not going very well there. Again, Oliver Gray still up on the apron here. And look at oh. this. Sort of a styles so. clash. Oh. Been watching my other half of the World Tag Team Champions. Yeah. Two, a two and a half again. Oh. Man, these are some like two and like 15, 16th counts or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay, I don't know how big of a fraction I can make. <laughs> and Oliver Gray being told to leave ringside. I think Goldust may be going the same way here. You could, yeah, maybe just try to gain control of people on the outside. What is Adrian oh, Neville oh. thinking of here? Oh, look. Oh, my goodness. Oh. A big stamp into the chest. Goldust not happy on the outside. Could that be enough to put JC Pullins away into the cover? Hooks the leg. And again, Goldust oh. up distracting the ref. Yeah, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, there's that kick to oh. the back of the head. Surely this one is over. But again, the referee is distracted. And Goldust really didn't help his partner at all there. And that he gives. did for a split second, but. It doesn't. It gives Adrian Neville a chance to just recover and hit that big move to the back of the head and that is three it. and that is it Jess Adrian Neville comes away with a victory and indeed it's one for the British lads tonight as Adrian Neville picks up the win and well we'll see next week how Goldust gets on when he takes on Oliver Gray yeah I mean their first uh, showing as a pair uh, no they weren't necessarily in a tag team match but as like a combined like combined team they really didn't do too well Goldust kind of stole the show and took away the, the ref's uh, focus indeed but you've got to see you've got to give props to Adrian Neville he's coming on leaps oh, yeah, and bounds here in NXT phenomenal you pulled some phenomenal moves this game or this match rather. so here we go then we continue on coming up next singles competition Santino Morella is going to take on big Tyler Davis another great matchup coming up tonight indeed the second one of tonight as here comes the well the fan favorite italian likes to use what he likes to call the cobra <laughs> as really has the, the the more the kids on his side here in this one jess yeah it seems like whoever booked this night has kind of had the same like this eccentric like what the heck am i watching feeling i mean our first matchup has a uh, jc pullins and goldust Tonight we have a tag team matchup with some managers and commentators, and now we have Santino. Well, you've got to say though, Jess, this man, not somebody to no, really mess about with. So goofy. He's a big man. It's it's very. Um, in, Tyler Davis has done really well. Gone on to a few of the main shows, Jess, uh, during his time here. Uh, but tonight, really, if he can beat Santino Morella, probably looking at trying to get a title shot down the road. Oh yeah, definitely. This could, although we said Santino's kind of a goofball, little eccentric kind of guy. He's he's not. He's uh, he really backs up in the ring. He's had some great matches here. You would think Santino, if, if if Santino puts his mind to it, you could really think that he could also be a major player for the going for the NXT title, currently held by Rose co-commentator Matt Rhodes. Oh yeah, I mean, both of these guys. This could very well be a. Like a number two contenders match, since we already know who the number one contender is. Indeed, and when you're seeing that, though, myself being a SmackDown guy, I'm talking about the main event. I'll obviously, be rooting for Joe tonight. Yeah. Um, but I still don't understand why why Joe got involved with Matt in the first place. Yeah, I'm still a little. I don't know what's happening over there. But uh. But uh, it's good. Makes good for entertainment, I guess. Indeed, it's very surprising that Joe's teamed up with AJ Z. And AJZ is only second match here on NXT. Oh, yeah. He's already making big, huge leaps and bounds in this company. Well, look at this. Tyler Davis 
look at that's the power of Tyler Davis just using that leg he's got as you see look at the size difference Jess between these two yeah Santino isn't San, uh, Santino isn't really a small guy but he, he definitely looks small compared to Tyler you've got to say Tyler's what you've got to be hitting seven seven two seven three that, that that's maybe yeah maybe if that maybe even a little taller than that even Dude, look at this Can, but Santino though not backing down hits the bulldog nicely they're right in the middle of the ring but Tyler Davis pops right back up Santino needs to yeah. keep on him here but there's that power game again from Tyler Davis oh yeah he has him into the corner and oh my goodness look at that oh my goodness oh. rams him in big oh. throw over the shoulder as well nice suplex indeed Tyler Davis well, what, what can you say about this man if he can if he can get the win here I wouldn't like to go against him on a singles competition if I was Matt Rhodes. Oh, definitely. If uh, if he's able to get past AJZ, then oof, this, it, it'd be another uh, difficult hill. To get well, over. if he gets past AJZ, though, Jess, or we'll come back to that. We'll just oh. discuss. NXT continues. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Celebrate new crispy chicken nuggets at Wendy's. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. It's NXT for you at the weekends. And oh, look at this on the outside, Jess. Uh oh. Cobra time. Oh, there it is. Oh. He hits it outside the ring. Not a good thing, though, Jess. He needs to get him back inside. Well, he could he could win by count out, right? Oh, well, yeah, but he, he's, oh. Santino's not Stop. that kind of guy. It's true. He doesn't. He likes, he likes to finish him off in the ring, fair and square. But look at this. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that's going to stop anyone it doesn't matter what size you are if you get rammed into them um, ring steps exactly. he's using the whole big man take out the knees and ankles and legs sort of strategy right now well it's the best thing to do sure as I say we are talking before the break Jess if Matt Rhodes gets past AJZ next week it's a main roster spot challenge oh yeah I forgot about that it'll be his second defence so it's so much on the line next week here on NXT and, and also, next week, a massive week for us here at Nonstop Wrestling with Survivor Series uh, coming up in, well, seven days. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be, it's a lot happening at once, I can tell you that much. Indeed. Tyler Davis looking to put away Santino Morella here, which would be an, another big win for Tyler. So here oh, we yeah, go. definitely a big, big one. Look at this, just Tyler Davis continuing oh. to stamp away. And you've He's dissecting his opponent. Indeed. Can you can you imagine, as you say, Tyler picking up a win here? It looks like he's going to go for that submission. Look at that. He's just oh, hit, man. pulling on the neck. And uh, Santino is struggling here. Big style. I, I don't even know how he's lasted this long. No, oh, he has, no, there you go, Jeff. If that's it. There as, as I said it. Yeah, exactly. I don't think anyone was going to get out of that. And Tyler oh, Davis yeah. picks up another big win here on NXT. Yeah. He definitely did. I know Santino again, big. He's a he's a good competitor. And that continues Tyler Davis's run here in NXT. And well, maybe as I say, if he can get back to uh, winning, well, if he can get past the next hurdle, who's not to say he is going to be challenging for that NXT title really soon? Your winner, Jess, Tyler Davis. Oh yeah, it was a great match. Both uh, both competitors. Definitely held their own in this match. So here we go. Well, big win for Tyler Davis. We'll surely be seeing him in the weeks to come. Coming up next, here it is. Just up. Oh, it is time for the NXT <laughs> Tag Team Championship. It is Team David Otunga, and they are going to take on the team of Primo and Epico. Yep, and uh, this is for the tag titles, am I correct? It is indeed. It, the tag titles currently held by these two men Team <laughs> David Otunga. And you have to say, Jess, you can you only you can be nothing but impressed with these two. Oh yeah, they came in with little. Actually, I don't think any tag team, uh, like no chemistry almost, came in and won the tag titles a few weeks back. Indeed, they, they really are undefeated to get to this stage. 
I put yeah. these two men had a massive win last week, Jess, uh, to get to this stage uh, when they defeated the team of uh, Blake and Zach Lloyd, former tag team champions in their own right. Oh yeah, they're def. Uh, I believe you said last week that they were uh, being underused, or at least some people were, and now they're they're finally getting their shot. Let's hope they can uh, capitalize on it. And this is Team David Otunga's uh, first title defense, if I remember rightly. I, I believe it is, so there will not be uh, a roster spot challenge anytime soon, maybe in like a few weeks, but, but even I, I, you probably have to worry about uh, these two guys in the ring before they even worry about that roster spot challenge. Indeed, this their first title defense after beating Supply and Demand, the Godfather and Val Venus, to win the belts. This should be a very interesting matchup. And uh, as usual, I'm going to probably get these, that is Primo in the ring, I do believe. Yeah, you got it right this week. There you go. See, I'm getting better at these. So, David Otunga stuff. David Otunga, you would have to suggest powerhouse of this team, if I'm... Would you agree? Oh, yeah. David's the power, raise the speed. Uh, it, believe it or not, it actually works really well together. It's a great balance. Uh, especially for a team that really has not had any experience tagging together. Um, but Primo and Epico, very, very... Um, what, can, what can the word be said? Very um, experienced t teaming together. Um, so surely they have should have the advantage in this one. They they could be, but they aren't the champions. That's correct. And also, the, um, if they also have to pin and make uh, pin or submit one of either David Otunga or Rey Mysterio to win the belts. They can't obviously they can't win them by count out disqualification. So yeah, the it, usual. Yeah, so the, really, it the, the advantage you have to say championship advantage. Yeah, the advantage goes always to goes to the champions. Yeah, exactly. So it's going to be harder work for them. Especially with if they're going to have someone David Otunga. David Otunga, the bigger man, you can see clearly see that out of the four <laughs> men in the ring. Yeah. I know they might have a disadvantage, uh, Primo and Epico, just because they aren't the champions, but how much better do you think that will feel get after this w if they can get the win? Indeed. Let's have an, an NSW um, app. Of course, if you're watching us tonight live on Twitch, if you're in the app, if you want Team David Otunga to win, press 1. If you want uh, Primo and Epico to to claim the tag team titles press two and we'll see what the chat thinks obviously at the end and we'll see if they were right who are you going for jess in this one man this it's a tough one i like both teams personally just because i'm more of a more like a what do, what do they call like a lucha libre sort of style like that's my background yes so i mean i like Primo oh my goodness Epico. otunga i don't know oh. him off the top that is the power that you were, right, we I'm were talking about. David and, David and Ray. <laughs> well, David and Ray. it really seems like the chat is split at the moment from what we've come through here. But that was... Well, it is very active. Unbelievable, Jess. Much. Yeah, I see a 1-2-2, one, 1-2-1-2-2. Two, two, one, two, one, two, two. All right, I think a 2 is winning it, but Just still and, very close. NXT continues with Jess. Stay with us. We'll be back to see who wins the belts. Not Top Wrestling Raw comes your way on Monday nights at 11 o'clock in the UK, 6 in these 3 in the West. Join beautiful Dave Easton and Matt Rhodes who will take you through the action on Raw. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. It's NXT and it is episode 21. We are watching a tag team title match. You are in the presence of one half of the World Tag Team Champions, the Mundo, along with me and Jess Oakland. Jess, well, what can you say about this during the match? Pretty even during the break. Oh, sorry. yeah. It's been a great match so far Indeed. i know you probably it's not nothing's really like happened majorly except for the fact that you guys have missed some pretty good wrestling Indeed, it, it just seems like they have totally put a show on this can a premium ever go they'll claim these belts so as you see we've got mysterio in the ring at the moment so it's, it's sort of balanced with these high flyers but mysterio knows how to mix it up if it comes down to the brawling oh you yeah, definitely and look at this end of the cover oh, oh try to get a pin there but not even a one count yeah that was a deadly kick too i know uh from a fact he's knocked a few people out with that and that's surprised he's even able to now he's putting him up on the turbuckle look oh my and goodness oh. look at the leap of that and i think that uh, was well primo and epico are in, are in con, now in command david otang is going to be careful here he's gone sort of walkabout on the outside uh, is that back and forth? I, I can't, is that Primo in the ring or Epico? I always get that wrong. That is Epico. You got a, the dreads. It's the dreads. And Mysterio looking to try and finish this one here. Oh, there it is. You know what's coming up here, Jess? The six, six one, one nine. nine. And this could be the end. 
into the splash. Referee out slowly out of position. Where's one? There's two. Team Dira Tonga. They got him. Yeah, Team Dira Tonga retains the titles. Great. And a great match. Again, we've had some great matches tonight. And there you go. Team Dira Tonga continue their winning ways. And uh, well, congratulations to them. Next up for them will be de title defense number two and possibly a main roster spot challenge. And remember, Jess, coming up to WrestleMania a few short weeks away, trying to get under that main uh, roster spot, especially as season two is fast approaching. Oh yeah, you're definitely gonna wanna try to make a name for yourself in the, the ending days of our uh, first season. Congratulations, Dave Latonga, Rey Mysterio. They continue to be your NXT Tag Team titles. But it's not over yet, Mundo. It's got one more match tonight. This is it. It is your main event, ladies and gentlemen. It is Matt Rhodes, Rose co commentator, teamed up with his manager, Paul Heyman, to take on SmackDown, my guy, Joe Disney, and AJZ. Man, that's a star studded matchup. And Jess, do you hear that? It is Matt Rhodes has his music back. Oh, that sounds right again. It, the world is put to right. And here, exactly. is, and here is Jess, your NXT champion. Yeah, you know how I felt. I think it was last week when he first got rid of the music. You know, I just, I didn't feel right. I'm glad he's at least a little back to normal. I think after being attacked by Joe Disney, I think he's just wanted to go back to his roots. Oh yeah. It seems like he's had that success with Paul Heyman like uh, he says he has. He had a little, last week he kind of had a little downfall like uh, you said that you had. Uh, being connected to Paul Heyman. Yeah, but maybe I, th I think you've got, to, you've got to agree though. It's done a lot for Matt in his career. At least he, he's, he's the only two-time NXT champion. And tonight, that's very true. But what is Heyman going to do in the ring tonight? I'm very interested to see. I'm I'm interested in seeing uh, Paul Heyman wrestling in the same Joe Disney. And the worst thing is, Paul Heyman is in a suit. <laughs> yeah. That's, oh man, this is interesting. And, oh. well, here comes the only 14-year-old in um, NXT. Oh yeah, the youngest professional wrestler on the non-stop wrestling uh, roster, AJZ. The independent all-star, Indeed. we say. And he's coming in new music again. I think he's got rid of the old uh, music from last week and a bit more friendly um, style. Oh yeah, that's I don't know. He did a lot of talking last week I did. I before he got down to the ring. I'm glad he kind of shut up a bit this week. He did, and well, maybe sort of. Still, a bit of a mixed reception for him. Yeah, uh, he'll we'll figure out in, in the days to come about uh, what these fans truly think about AJZ. Well, if you think that, I, I have to I have to obviously go for the my guy. Because obviously he calls SmackDown each week, Joe Disney. <laughs> oh man, I don't know what Joe's getting himself into tonight, but I gotta support him. He's, you know, he's my friend too. Don't get me Great wrong. Guy. I think Matt Rhodes is an excellent commentator. I, I, I've loved seeing him be on NXT, but this is my guy, Joe Disney. And oh, Joe Disney. Everyone loves Joe Disney. The only problem I don't understand is why is he still in that costume? Dude, that must be one of the hottest things to wrestle in. He's he probably <laughs> probably had to ask the Goobly Gooker uh, back from the 90s a few times about what it's like to wrestle in that suit. And the worst thing is, Joe Disney is taking it to Matt Roach here. You would, <laughs> you, you would totally think that Joe did. Well, I wonder if AJC's been teaching him th something through the week. Or maybe oh, this I, could... I didn't even know Joe wrestled. This could be out of pure adrenaline rage, though, however, that what he's doing to Matt Rhodes after what... Uh, what Matt did to him and uh, Megan. Indeed, well, let's give the, the guys a bit of a background if people don't uh, don't know. Uh, Joe in, had this thing with Megan in Vegas, which he was boasting about on SmackDown for weeks, only to be found out that Matt Rhodes played a video on SmackDown a couple well last week, showing that they went that they uh, no sorry they, they showed the video first of them having dinner. Then Matt Rhodes decided to show everybody what really happened on Raw and. Uh, <laughs> about the, the, well, Megan throwing water over Joe Disney, and this led to Joe Disney attacking Matt Rhodes after the match last week. 
and now we've got yeah. this. With the AJD's, AJZ distraction. Uh, don't forget about that. AJZ came out after Matt Rhodes' uh, title defense uh -huh. and uh, sort of laid down the gauntlet for him, telling him that he's next. And uh, Joe Disney used that uh, distraction to come up from behind and hit a... I don't know what he calls that move. I know it's been called uh, the cutter, diamond cutter, stuff like that in the past, but uh -huh. I don't know if he has his own name for it. Well, we'll do, I'm sure, actually, I'm going to hopefully get some answers uh, this week. But whoever's going to lose this, I'm sure... I'm sure it's not going to be fun for um, poor old Dave Easton when he's got to commentate with these two. Oh, yeah, both of them. One on, thir one on Thursday, one on Monday. Yeah, so we're obviously Dave Easton and Matt Rhodes taking you through Raw tomorrow night. And then obviously Dave Easton and, and um, Joe Disney taking you through on Thursday. But remember, Jess, we have Superstar. Uh-oh, just as I say that, he has uh. Paul Heyman. <laughs> Heyman's Here we in. Go. You could have You would have thought he would have wore some wrestling gear, though, Jess. That's true. He could have, you know, at least put on, you know, some jeans or some sweatpants and uh, maybe like a tank top or a t-shirt or something, but is in it, a suit. Is it sort of, uh, oh my goodness, look at this. Is it, <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, you've just, is it, well, NXT continues. We're going to be back with the conclusion of this match, guys. Stay with us. A non-stop wrestling Survivor Series comes your way on Sunday, the 6th of October. Join beautiful Dave Easton and Matt Rhodes who will take you through our next pay-per-view Survivor Series. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. It is the main event of uh, NXT episode 21. Joe Disney and AJZ. We haven't seen much of AJZ so far. Joe trying to do this all on his own, uh, Jess. Yeah, he's taking out all of his, he's trying to get all of his anger out. Oh, speaking, I think he's going for it. Yeah. yeah. And you, see, you can tell, look at the size difference. Matt Rowe towers up, but AJC um, showed last week against Heath Slater. He knows what he's doing in there. Yeah, uh, Heath Slater, a former uh, NXT champion, and uh, maybe AJZ, a future NXT champion. And Could look, very well be. And look at that, Jess. Week. Matt Rhodes getting out the ring, is <laughs> trying to get out the way of oh. AJZ, and then AJZ getting putting Joe Disney back in and Joe Disney I've been completely impressed with Joe Disney in this ring yeah I've been impressed by Paul Heyman too also oh, but, uh, Joe, oh. oh. I, I don't know what Matt Rhodes is doing with them <laughs> stairs <laughs> what is, is he bringing them into the ring now maybe it's a distraction maybe that's what you need but Heyman hitting the big DDT um, but then obviously the referee's gonna the referee removing the stairs and that's give Heyman a chance to um Hit Joe Disney. Maybe this could be the end here. Disney again. No, Disney little Disney went for a tag. He was sort of oh, distracted by Paul Heyman. And look at the, uh -oh. the, these two continue to fight on here. As AJZ pulled Heyman off the apron. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Who, whoa, who's that? Is that? I don't know who that is. Oh, my goodness. Who, who is, is that? that your, is that your tag partner? That, that's not it. No, no, that's not it. No, that's not it. Oh. No, no, no. But wait a minute. That's three. That's it. Joe Disney. Joe's got the win. Joe's beat Matt Rhodes. Who is... Uh oh. I do not I've know. heard about this guy. Well, Joe Disney's getting a microphone. I think we're going to find out who it is. Well, we're going to find sorry, out. Sorry, I'm sorry, though. He learned, looked a little bit like AJ, uh, AJ Styles. Yeah. Morgan Wolf. And, hmm. well, welcome to the Disney Alliance. Well, there you go. We now finally know who it is. But is Joe building up to... Well, not, well, um, look, well he's right. AJZ will take... Well, he says he's going to beat Road to the NXT title next week. And they're issuing a challenge for Survivor Series. Three on three. Heyman and Ro Matt Rhodes and the third man to take on the Disney Alliance. Huh. Oh, That's going to be interesting. Well... That's it. What a shocking end, Jess. Yeah. The Disney Alliance is formed. What is going to come next week? Remember, next week, guys, NXT, Matt Rhodes, AJZ, NXT title on the line. Jess, thank you very much again for being here this week. Well, thanks for having me again. Well, Jess, see you goodbye to the fans. Goodbye to the fans. And that is it. Mundo signing out. Remember, you can f uh, follow us on nonstop, um, sorry, NSW360 on the um, good old Twitter. Follow us on YouTube and give us a cheeky follow if you're on Twitch. You Remember, you will see me and Jess again on Superstars because we're that good. Uh, you'll, oh, yeah. And you'll see me on SmackDown as well. Okay, so till then, we're going to say goodbye and we are signing out. Ta-ta for now.